I think there's two main themes for the education programs that we run here at CTL. You have to involve people hands-on perspective. And the second is you have to get them prepared, not for what they might face today, but future looking. People who come here get some of the basics, but they also get exposed to the latest thinking in terms of what companies are doing, what processes should be like, what information technology is there. They're also tapping into that global corporate outreach program we have of all those companies, 50 plus companies across the globe, where they work on research projects with them. Our education programs are really rooted in developing professionals that will be at the heart of the future of supply chain management and leading our industry in the future. The flagship educational program of the MIT Center for Transportation Logistics is our master's program. It's a nine month program when people come in at the end of August and they march in the commencement exercise at the end of May or beginning of June. We believe that a full-time immersion, you know, studying nothing but supply chain management for nine months is an important part of developing the skills that are needed to be a leader in supply chain management in the future. So the best gift you can give people, not material gift, time, giving a person undivided attention. You can face the highest barrier you would get over it. One of the things that's really innovative about our education program is that we embed a full-time research project. And the theses that they conduct have practical application to make them really think in a, a big picture about how supply chains can be improved. We're talking to executives from companies every week, I would say. We have not only lectures, but interactions with, with industry. We're responsible for our projects for our companies in the industry. They're interested in trying to do something good and make life better. In our case, our, our thesis is particularly important for us, how private supply chains can help in case of a disaster. It actually links several parts of you know, doing well by doing good. And it's actually something that you can apply anywhere you go after this. One of the great things about the program itself is that you get to see very intelligent people handle problems in a way that opens your eyes to new ideas and new perspectives. Over the course of the last several years, it's become very obvious that innovation does not flow in one direction. It tends to happen at the intersections between people. When someone from Latin America is talking to someone from the U.S., when someone from Europe is talking to someone from Asia. Not only we work with companies all over the world, but we actually created universities in Europe and in Latin America. In Europe, we have built the Zaragoza Logistics Center. We have programs to bring people from all over the world to study there. And it became one of the attractions for companies to locate in this park, having a university there dedicated to logistics. Our partner center in Latin America, the Center for Latin American Logistics Innovation, allow us to have a window to that region at the same time as we help the companies of the region develop capabilities that will support more economic activity going uh, locally. The ability to connect with that global landscape is a, is a critical part of our program and will be going forward. At the highest level, we have executive education programs where we bring in different uh, people from one company or multiple companies and give them specific training. They had what I would call a very unique supply chain, one that had never been built before in the history of mankind. Apparently, we are serving four very distinct consumers. The days of coming in and someone flying across the country to listen to a lecture is pretty much dead. These are three to four day courses that are highly interactive, lots of workshops. The folks who attend are learning from each other, they're learning from us at MIT, and then we're actually learning a lot from the parties that come. It goes against the sort of the strategy of being a premium high end, but yet I'm stocking on low end stuff that I'm not going to be competitive on. They learn the basic dynamics that exist in supply chains and systems overall. So you have to make your decisions on your system. You don't know what's going to happen, but know that it's going to be tested in four different scenarios. We found that people tend to learn and really absorb concepts if they have hands-on experience. If someone's going to come to our course, you know, they got to be ready to work because it's not one of these things where you can sit back and hear folks pontificate. By and large, you're going to be working while you're here, and you're going to get an awful lot out of it. We talk with industry a lot about what do you want in, in graduates? What are you looking to have in your future leaders? And we try to always take their input and continue to shape the program so that they're getting the kinds of graduates that they need for their business to go forward. Our students are great. 
We have the fortune of, of attracting students from around the world. They are so energetic and creative and technically knowledgeable. And they're really driven to make a difference. And it's just a pleasure to work with students who are so motivated. The education, the research, and the company interactions are all interwoven and working to enhance each other. And it's this combination that makes our education process unique. I'm learning here as much as I can about logistics and supply chain, and I think I'm going to use everything I learn.